Natalie's Hair Was Wild, written and illustrated by Laura Freeman. Natalie's hair was wild. It seemed to have a mind of its own. It couldn't be tamed by a comb or a pick or restrained by barrettes or a clip. Her hair could escape from a scrunchie. It was tangled and frizzy, and each day it got wilder. But Natalie didn't care. One day, some birds moved in. Natalie's hair made a fine nest. She didn't care. Then a frog jumped in. Natalie just let her hair get wilder. An owl and a fox arrived next. An ostrich thought it was the perfect place to hide his face. Hm, Natalie didn't care. Soon, a zebra was living there. A giraffe and an elephant too. Natalie still didn't care. She didn't mind the wildebeest or rabbits. There was even a tiger. Natalie's hair was really wild. And those animals were loud. They snorted and growled. They honked and chirped. They squeaked and burped. They never stopped. Natalie didn't care. But the wild sounds went on all day and all night. Soon, Natalie could no longer ignore them. I've had enough. I want these animals out of here. They won't let me sleep. And they're just plain rude. It was time to take action. Natalie knew it would be a big job. Those animals were all tangled up in her hair. So she called in professionals from the zoo and the fire department too. First, they removed the zebra and the giraffe. Then they coaxed out the fox and the rabbits. They caught the tiger and told the owl who, who they were. They cleared them out, every last one. And when they were done, they used their hoses to wash Natalie's hair. They raked through the knots and trimmed her hair with huge hedge scissors. It really was a big job. When they finally finished, Natalie was relieved. She understood that the hair on your head is no place for a zoo. She faithfully brushed it and combed it and washed it. She kept it neat for at least a week. Hey friends, it's me, Miss Olivia. Thank you so much for listening in to Natalie's Hair Was Wild. Please support the author and illustrator of this book by purchasing your very own copy. I hope you enjoyed listening to this story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. Until next time, my name is Miss Olivia. This is Miss Olivia Reads, and I cannot wait for you to join me for another reading adventure very soon. Bye, friends.